In an important development, the Supreme Court of India today rejected a plea by the National Investigation Agency against an earlier order of the court directing Bhima Koregao accused Gautam Navlakka to be placed under house arrest instead of keeping him in the Taloja prison in Mumbai, where he is currently lodged in connection with the Bhima Koregao case. A bench comprising Justices K.M. Joseph and Rishikesh Roy also imposed certain additional conditions for the house arrest of Navlakha such as the sealing of the kitchen door leading to the exit point and the locking of the grills of the hall. The Supreme Court bench also noted that Navlakha has complied with its earlier imposed condition of installing CCTV cameras at both the exit points. Fortunately, the bench has also ordered that the order passed on November 10th which allowed the shifting of Navlakha from prison to house arrest must be executed by the NIA within 24 hours. The bench also said that it will be open to the NIA to shift the DVRs of the CCTV cameras. To provide a bit of context for all of you, the Supreme Court had allowed Navlakha to be shifted to house arrest from jail for a month subject to certain conditions. He was asked to deposit an amount of Rs 2.4 lakh as expenses for his security cover when he is under house arrest. The court had also directed that Navlakha shall not be permitted to use a computer, internet or any other communication device while he is under house arrest. However, the NIA subsequently moved the Supreme Court seeking vacation of Navlakha's house arrest order on the grounds that there had allegedly been deliberate suppression of material facts, deliberate acts amounting to abusive process of law and bias regarding the activist's medical report on the basis of which the Supreme Court had granted him house arrest. The application moved by NIA had also contended that Navlakha's medical records were vitiated by bias since they were prepared at a hospital where the head doctor is related to him. The agency had also pointed out that the location selected by Navlakha is a public library under the control of the Communist Party of India and that the building is in the name of the secretary of the Communist Party who manages the same. However, during the hearing today, the Supreme Court bench dismissing the contentions of the NIA said that the location chosen by Navlakha for house arrest being at a hall above the library controlled by the Communist Party of India is not shocking. The bench also underscored during the hearing today that if the NIA is trying to find out some loopholes to see that the Supreme Court's order is defied, then the bench would take a very serious view of it. Expressing their displeasure regarding the NIA's objections, the Supreme Court bench further remarked during the hearing today, and I quote here, if with the entire police force you cannot keep a watch on a 70-year-old ailing man, then think about the weakness. Please do not say such a thing. With all the might of the state, you are not able to keep a 70-year-old ailing man in house confinement. For more information on today's hearing, you can refer to our detailed report, the link to which has been given in the description box below. Thank you. I'm Arachaka Bhavik for Live Law. Keep watching Live Law for more such updates.